Hey guys, Alex the Vegan Gamer, playing Bayonetta Chapter 15, The Tower to Truth. I have a feeling this is the final boss, <laughs> which is kind of sad because I like this game a lot. But let's go ahead. Whoa, what's up with the music? Isn't there usually music? No, maybe not. Oh, it takes a while to load. There's probably something big. I don't know what it is. Some sort of movie. like someone's expecting us. Awfully nice of them to roll out the red carpet. Luca, you need to get one thing straight. Yeah, I know. I won't look after you, so don't screw up. I got things under control. Let's go. Stay next to me, little one. Who's... Who's that guy gonna be? Huh. Daddy? What? Daddy? Daddy! It's Daddy! Daddy? Of course, Mommy! Can't you hear him? Okay, Daddy, I'm coming! And I'll bring Mommy with me! Oh, this is spooky! Wait. I was hoping Luca was going to be your daddy. Little one. Cenicita! Bayonetta! Damn it! He's going to find a way in for sure. He's a good guy. What is this place? Hey, there's a guard there? No time to go back. I have to find Cersei. Cereza. This guy. Oh, they're in the other world. <laughs> what was I kicking there? <laughs> oh, invisible wall here. Can't go there. Which side am I supposed to go? No, oh, probably left side. I'm gonna go check to see if there's something hidden here. Oh, drawing of the tower or painting. Fresco of some sort. Oh, the music is awesome. Yeah, this is definitely the final boss. I'm destroying the place. Yeah, that wasn't very useful. Whoa, that guy's huge. Oh, I hate when they're on fire. Let's pick up this whipping. Kissy kissy. Hmm. 
Nice statues. What is this gate? It seems like some sort of control terminal. All the cables are connected to the giant pillar in the center of the room. I guess I have to go around. Not a lot of light here. And there's a big window, so there's probably gonna be any, uh, some sort of helicopter, airplane or something. Nope. A huge industrial machine is visible. It seems to be set to do something via automation, but it's not operating at the moment. I'm sure we'll manage to make it operational. Adios. Well, that was cool. As a final move, kissy kissy again. Kiss that door open. Pure platinum. All right. We're gonna say the same thing, aren't they? Megaton! Is there gonna be something else to see here? Countless containers filled with red liquid are suspended from a that giant shaft. Oh, they seem to have a shape of a human. It seems that each container contains contents are being pumped up to the top of the building. Oh. Some sort of blood. Whoa! Oh, I dodged that just in time. Get on here! Vibrating boobies. <laughs> Oh, I love the sword. What am I checking now? Oh, pick up. Whoa. 
What? Whoa! Get out of the way! Can I hit him? Well, <laughs> no time to be taking pictures. I'm gonna destroy this wall. Come back, I wanna kill you. Can I actually fight this guy or not? That doesn't seem so. Maybe once I uh, once I reach the top. <laughs> yeah, he's definitely gonna destroy these windows. Oh, there's a cannon outside. An anti-aircraft gun. Does the corporation really need all these armaments? Yeah, they probably do. They probably do, Bayonetta. Okay, get out of here. Get out of here. I'm going on, on to the other one. Okay, we are getting out of here. I'm ah, going back. Fish for us. Am I supposed to hit the, those balls there? Where am I? Oh. I think I managed to dodge that. I think so. What was that? Come on. I'm trying not to shoot what the hit though. Is it only his head that hurts? How am I supposed to dodge that? Come on, come on. Get 
Did I just die? Oh no, he did. Oof! Okay. Silver. And I got a book. Alan in the Sun, Isla del Sol. Alright you guys, I'm gonna read the book right here. And don't forget to save the animals, kick some monsters butt, and I'll see you next time. If not, let's just read this. Oh. Antonio's Notebook. Oh, I got two to read. Treasure of the Clans, The Eyes of the World. Several hundred years ago, the now vanished clans of the Umbra Witches and Lumen Sages stood as overseers of time immemorial, thriving from their remote European base known as Vigrid. However, the reign quickly came to a close via a violent war that ended in their mutual destruction. The war lasting for 100 years saw the witches and their campaign of assassin push them to the brink of victory. Yet the people's fear of these powerful women spawned the witch hunts, and eventually both clans vanished into Ether. Long serving the powers that be, it is said that the clans that did not use their power to intervene with history, but rather to protect its passage. We are told that they carried out these duties via use of their treasured eyes of the world. But oh, that's the little red jewel that we saw in the previous fight. Yet what this statement means is anyone's guess. What is clear is that the clans very existence was closely linked to historical change, so much so that even kings and emperors feared the clan's power. There were two eyes of the world, one each controlled by the witches and the sages, which when used together were able to carry out their stated task as overseers. Overseeing. Overseeing. What do they oversee? Overseers. The protectors? To prevent the power of the eyes from being used for nefarious purposes, they were equally split and the clans prohibited interrelations in an effort to maintain the balance of power that existed between them. But that obviously did not happen because, well, Bayonetta's parents were from both clans. I wonder if it was her mom that was like from the good, good guys or the bad guys. Well, not really the good guys or bad guys, the angels or the demons. Okay, so the irony is that the Grand War that led to the clan's destruction was sparked by these very treasures. After their downfall, the eyes of the world suddenly disappeared. Information about them is extremely limited. What sort of item were the eyes? What shape did they take? Well, wonder you like blue or red jewels? All this remains unknown. The Black Markets recently saw a large gemstone come onto the market bearing the name of the Eyes of the World. Although it may be a different item under the same name, or even a mafia scam me meant to gauge market reaction. There is no proof that the ancient treasure was actually a gem, but there is reliable, albeit troubling, information regarding the treasure and the CEO of the Itavol group. It is said that he is in search of some unknown item for his development project in next generation energy, but whether it is it has any relation to this matter requires further research. It probably does, it probably does. Okay, Island of the Sun, Isla del Sol. The Edival Group, once a medium sized IT company, through acquisition has broadened his business base and become one of the world's leading 
Conglomerates Their base of operations is one of man-made island off the coast of Vigrid known as Isla del Sol. Huh. Huh, huh, huh. Okay. Uh, Isla del Sol was initially constructed to concentrate Vigrid's urban functions in one area and facilitate expansion. However, its true function is to funnel enormous powers to the ruling authorities, creating an autonomous religion under Itavol group control in order to facilitate the creation of a theocracy. What's a theocracy? Democracy? Theocracy? The CEO of the Itavol group, claiming to be a descendant of the Lumen, has used his economic and political strength, even exploiting the fate of the people, to bend Vigrin to his will. That is how he was able to influence the construction of the island, as well as the city's urban planning, to match his own religious views. Buildings are lined up as if they were an enormous spiral being drawn towards the center of the island, a symbol of the trinity of realities known as the Cosmos of Chaos. That guy must have had a lot of power. Among these urban structures, there are SAM equipped strategic defense sites known as Jarlahorns, tall buildings creating a skyward barrier that is nearly impregnable. Impregnable. I was like impregnating some <laughs> something. Uh. <laughs> At the center of this curtain of defense lies the Edavol building, the heart of the Edavol conglomerate. I guess that's where we are right now. The Ithavol building. I've been able to obtain important information regarding the building itself. While it may be the outward symbol of the city's wealth and pride, the near sanctuary of the building is home to advanced energy research that the Ithavol CEO is secretly using as leverage that he hopes will allow him to remake the world according to his vision. It sounds absurd. But I've seen things on that island so strange that I believe it now with all my heart and soul. Strange stuff. I've seen a lot of strange stuff not on that island. If you've played this whole game, <laughs> you'll realize that pretty much everything is strange. Like even Luca's outstanding power for a human. Like, he's like Batman in disguise and has his grapple. Oh well. Okay, you guys, I'll see you in the next video. We'll continue playing, alright? See y'all later. Thanks for watching.